It was the best Christmas gift a little boy could have asked for. Tennis reporter Carrie Chow was the only immediate person invited to today's surprise when a local surpri sailor surprised his son after months on deployment. When this door opened at the Holy Trinity daycare, it wasn't Santa coming in to offer presents. It was a father coming in to offer his presents. Pastor Dale. It had been four months since Bastion Haney saw his father, Brad, a nuclear electronics technician for the Navy. And I thought you were going to be late. Yeah, I was a little late, huh? The time apart felt even longer for the two. The younger Haney has cerebral palsy, epilepsy, and hydrocephalus, a condition when there's too much water in the brain. Their last reunion was far more serious. There's a, a drain in his head, and they had to remove it and re, uh, replace it. It was pretty scary. He was diagnosed with epilepsy right before Brad left, less than a week before Brad left, and was having two to five seizures a day. But Bastion felt as good as ever as he played Legos with his dad this afternoon. The school, courtesy of Legoland, even presented the family with passes to the park. You want to go to Legoland? Yeah! Yeah, me too. Legos are a huge part of the Haney's life. You just saw in the video the first thing father and son did was play with Legos. They're going to be doing a whole lot more of that in the next couple of months. For a young family that's gone through so much, playing is just what they wish for this holiday season. Uh, it's pretty nice of them to give us a ticket so we can go to Legoland this week. We're going to go play. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're my friend. <laughs> and that was Kerry Chow reporting. Brad Haney is stationed on the USS Asheville. He's set to redeploy in February. The family plans on going to Legoland next week. Well, meanwhile, we just checked in.